Good evening. It has been nearly seven years in the making, but today the trial finally began in one of BC's biggest ever political corruption scandals. Dave Bazzi and Bobby Virk are two of the three men accused in the case, accused of accepting money and committing fraud when their former employer, the provincial government, sold BC Rail in 2003. The investigation into that sale led to the unprecedented raid on the B.C. legislature that December. And now, for the first time, British Columbians may be on the verge of hearing potentially explosive evidence. A News reporter Shachi Curl is at B.C. Supreme Court in Vancouver and has more on the story. Shachi. Hudson, after years of delays and false starts, the stage was set. The judge ready to go. The jury on standby. The accused wanting to get it all over with. But in spite of that, no evidence was heard today. No witnesses were called. It is an older, thinner, grayer Dave Bassey who arrives to face and fight charges first laid against him so long ago. It's been seven long years of fighting. I'm looking forward to my day in court. This day coming six and a half years after the infamous raid on the legislature that brought him here to court. That raid prompted by an investigation into the billion dollar sale of BC Rail, a public asset. Bassey and Bobby Virk are charged with fraud, taking bribes and breach of trust in connection to that sale. Bassey was working as an assistant to former finance minister Gary Collins. Virk was working for then transportation minister Judith Reed. Dave's younger cousin Anil Virk is accused of working with a lobby firm involved in the sale and accused of laundering money. Since the 2003 raid, all three have maintained they've done nothing criminal but that they were trying to keep bidders interested in a high-profile sale that was rapidly going sour and were acting expressly on the orders of Premier Gordon Campbell. For years, the case has hinted at rot and scandal at the highest levels of the Campbell government. And yet, in all that time, we've yet to hear a lot of real evidence. Even today, more legal wrangling and delays meant it didn't happen. Still, that's about to change. The results of this trial could lead to almost anything, including uh, the resignation of a premier, the change of a government. The British Columbians will finally get the real story behind the sale of their railway. Over the next six to eight weeks, it will be up to a jury to listen and then decide the fates of Bassey, Virk and Bassey. And for the first time, British Columbians will be able to draw their own conclusions. Now, Hudson, it's impossible to count the number of times this trial has been delayed. Believe me, I've tried. Still, the prosecution and the defense claim they will be ready to go tomorrow morning. And if that is the case, then this could be the beginning of some very uncomfortable weeks for the Campbell government, not to mention the end of a very long wait for answers. We'll see what happens tomorrow.